Okay, so I have already went to the range. I collected data. I got all the videos, everything going on there, but I had some issues. So I was going to make this video is going to go before that just to show you the consistency um, of how I do reloading and what I'm doing on this brass. So not all this isn't the exact brass that I've been using, but um, I use all the exact same cases, which are LC that is cut down to make <clears throat> 300 blackout. The first thing that I do is deprime it and then I clean it. That's going to get the pocket primer, primer pocket cleaned and the inside of the case is super shiny. Um, once I do that, I put some lube on them, um, full length size, everything, make them look really good. Then they actually go back in the cleaner again. Uh, stainless steel with water, um, Dawn dish soap, and I, I run them. That's just to get all the lube off um, and to just make sure if I didn't get anything perfectly clean the first time, just an extra cycle. Once those come out, they go in a dryer and I leave them in the dryer for a long time um, until these just get nice and hot to the touch. It's just a food dehydrator, <clears throat> but it's perfect for drying these out. And that's just to guarantee that no water gets trapped inside the primer pocket. See the primer, get it wet, then it doesn't work. So at that point, um, I will full length um, or trim the cases. So everything's exactly the same. So same cases, same brand, perfectly clean, clean primer pockets, trim them all to the same length, um, chamfer and deburr. Um, and at that point in time, I will um, set the primer, put the primers in there. And then I do powder trickling. So I'll throw a charge and then I'll just a little bit under, then I'll trickle it up. So hopefully it'll be as perfect as I can get it. Um, and then I slowly seat the bullet. When I seat the bullet, I actually use a little bit of imperial sizing wax on the bullet. Um, and what that does is just help any kind of friction or anything just, just slide it in so I can get as much consistency as possible. Um, when I'm seating the bullets, what I'll actually do is I just have the weight of, of the seating stem itself. So it doesn't seat it, but I just put it on there and that's to make sure that it lines up. That way it's already as concentric as possible when it's going into the case. So I'll just barely tap it. I'll turn it two or three times. So it's, you know, lined up with the case. I'll go about, I don't know, just, I'm not even going halfway, a quarter, an eighth of the way. I'll, in, you know, start pushing the bullet. I'll turn it, push it again and turn it. I'll probably turn it somewhere between three to five times until the bullet's completely seated just to try to keep up with that concentricity. Um, once that's done, measure the bullet, make sure everything's good. And then I have a really nice loaded 300 blackout round that's as consistent as possible. Um, before any kind of neck turning is done. I just bought neck turning tools. We'll go into that in a little bit as part of our project. But just so you can understand the consistency that I get from how I'm reloading. And you'll, the reason I'm making this video is because I had a lot of issues and those videos are coming up next. 